Hey guys, it's Matt from The Conscious Builder and today we're going to take a tour of our net zero ready home uh, that's currently in the framing stages. Start over here in the garage. We're going to have floor package over here. Uh, we also had to do some hand framing with 2x8 lumber. You'll actually notice we had to switch heights to make them all line up at the top. This also allows us to do a insulation detail for any kind of heating that we might have to do in the garage for the upstairs floor. The house is actually heated by radiant floor heat. Um, it's actually running through the slab already. Uh, but because we had to do a mechanical room at the front of the house and then we have a second floor, we had to do a, a warm board install. Warm board is pretty much two layers of plywood that get seen seed out at the factory based off the plans and they get shipped to us and then we actually just install them directly on top of the subfloor and you do standard floors on top of that. So during the framing stage it's really important for us to think of air barrier, weather barrier. Um, it's a lot easier for us to do it at this stage than it is at a later date. So the blue that you see actually is our weather and air barrier and, and we have it coming through the top plate and what's going to happen is on the interior we're going to connect our air barrier to that. So now we have that continuous air barrier. The whole idea of your air barrier is to have a, pretty much a, a shell of your home. From the outside, you can actually see it comes in from the exterior. So when we do our adhero on the outside, we'll actually tie in our adhero to the blue up top, and then the Intello will get connected to that as well. The majority of our houses are pretty well standard framing. We do a 16 inch on center, two by six wall. That's to give us our R22. That's minimum now, or was minimum. Um, as well as we'll do a three inch comfort board on the exterior of the home, upping. Uh, this is a net zero ready home, meaning we, we do have to s meet certain um, criterias to get the accreditation. From the two by sixes, we go up and we have our trusses. Um, trusses are obviously all engineered from the, the manufacturer, uh, engineered stamped, it's pretty standard framing. Um, we actually use a 716th OSB uh, with an H clip. You don't have to use the H-clip if you guys were going to be using a tongue and groove material. Uh, that will eliminate the need, but it's, it's, it's quite expensive to, to move to a tongue and groove on a, on a roof deck. So here we have the nice vaulted ceilings. Um, we're actually going to be doing a fireplace here. And because the plans uh, were showing us to have a, a pretty much a big chimney, we'll call it, um, we had to do an oversized pad here. This will be the guest room and then we'll actually have access to the mechanical room from the guest room. So this hole is pretty big right now, but we will shorten it or shrink it, excuse me, uh, once we get the warm board in and we understand how big the access needs to be. This area is gonna be open to above. So you can see the, the adhero comes wrapped around that dormer. We'll have to actually sheave that wall. We'll have to do our adhero, then we'll have to sheathe the roof because we need our air barrier to be continuous. On the outside of the house, you can actually see we have the adhero that we were talking about earlier. That's our air barrier. We use that on the side of the dormer because the inside is going to be conditioned space. If you look over here, we're actually using the tie part. That's because we just need a weather barrier on that gable. It is an attic and the, the air barrier actually doesn't go past the attic. It goes below the attic. So we just use a standard tie par weather barrier on the gables. Um, you can see the guys have started the sheathing. Um, you can see their nice string lines going across, make sure our fascias line up from the front to the back. The bedrock here is only about three feet low, so we had to do insulation detail all around the footings. We kind of knew that was coming, but uh, yeah, when you get into bedrock and you get into insulation details, it can add a bit of a cost um, that sometimes is unexpected. So our trusses come across. We actually have another A-frame truss coming in over the porch. Uh, and that'll tie into the roof that's already there. This is the kid's side of the house. So the warm board was needed over here as well. Because we have the mechanical room here, we actually had to do a wood frame. The wood frame is actually gonna line up with the, 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 the slab on grade. And then from the front, you can see the roof has three big dormers. So again, the one in the middle is actually gonna be open to below and the, the two on, the, on each side are, are just, just for looks. Quite, quite the detail though, to take care of those dormers uh, with trusses. We have our front door, two big windows. There is gonna be a front porch here, covered front porch. Um, it pretty much wraps around from the alcove right around to the back 
to the side, excuse me. Also see we have the waterproofing membrane. Again, because that's the mechanical room, it is open below. We do want to ensure that's waterproof. And here actually you can see our footings. We will be doing an insulation detail to make sure the footings are protected from frost. For the builders and contractors out there who are watching, we have some exciting news for you. Check out ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com where we are now offering great deals on courses from Blue House Energy. Courses like Building Science Basics, Construction Technology, Envelope Fundamentals, and Net Zero Energy for New Construction. Earn CPD and CEU credits and save 10% on these courses now through the Conscious Builder Academy. Link is in the video description below.